G'day YouTube, Four Nines Fine Silver here. G'day YouTube, today I have had uh, some emails and some requests to start making something to do with Halloween coming up. So I thought I'd make this little bat. I'm hoping you can see it in the camera. I got a new iPad yesterday, so I'm hoping it's going to do a better job. So I'm going to make this little bat, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it in silver, Nordic gold, and copper. So I'll make it once, show you how to do it, and then I'll just show you each pour. So I'll get started now. I've also heard that my pan that I put down makes too much noise so I thought I'll put a piece of carpet down first that can go on top hopefully you can see everything all right so to get started it's not a very intense pour today but I thought it would look good for Halloween so I'll get it started now Okay, there we have it. Okay, and then we'll get our piece. Put it face down, I think, today. Try and keep it as even as we can. Make sure we've got our ears in place. And he's got this little tiny gap between his legs. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a little tiny gap in there. We need to get that poked out far enough that it picks up by the next uh, stage. So that looks pretty good. All right, we'll get the top on it. I might just put a little bit of extra powder on the top, just so he releases nicely. And I might use my sieve for this, just to get on the, a little coating over the top so I can pick up the detail. That's pretty good. pressure I might pick up the camera just a bit I've noticed that you can't see my wall over there bad and I'll move this up a little bit so you can see is that all right I hope so a little bit of pressure on there all right that should be good 
brush it off. And flip it upside down just to be sure I've got enough pressure on there. Looks pretty good. There he is. Looks pretty good. All right. So now I'm going to go through the back this morning. I have a drill bit over here. So I'm going to go right in up here, I think, is going to be the easiest place to do it. Okay. There it is. I'll just cut out the sprue. I'll give it a little bit of a smooth over. As most of you know by now, that making it smooth helps the metal to run a little bit easier. I'll put my drill bit back through there. I think this is about a 6mm drill bit. 6mm is normally pretty good. You could probably go a tiny bit smaller, but just to be sure. Let's drop that through. Hopefully you can see that there's a nice hole through there. And let's get this back together. All right. Let's have a look at that. That looks good. Can I come back a little bit? I just need a little bit more room there. To... That's probably not too bad. Now... I'll put this brick in here. That'll just give me a bit of a height to, to put my crucible in. And uh, there's the crucible. We'll get some four nines fine silver coins going. And uh, where's my torch? It's right here. I'm going to get this torch going. I'm just using an oxyacetylene torch. To me, it works the best. It melts the metal down quicker than anything else. So what I'll do is I'll get that started. I'll get the, uh, the metal prepared. And then I'll turn it back on again for the, for the pour. All right, hang on a minute. it may have there's only one way to find out as you know so let's have a look I'll, uh, I'll flip it over yeah it looks like it's pretty good I'll give it a little bit of a push out onto that and uh, there you go I'll just give it a little scratch and see okay it looks like it's worked pretty good let's get that in there Looks like it's pretty good. 
and big feet. It's got face, ears, everything's there. All right, I'll give it a shine up. Cut off the sprue and I'll bring it in. G'day guys, here's the copper one, the uh, the Nordic gold one, I was just about to pour and I've run out of gas unfortunately, so sorry about that, but uh, yeah that's the copper one, and this one here is the, the silver one. And it's come out pretty good, it's pretty difficult trying to... I mean, let's just see if I can. Anyway, pretty cool. Looks like his little feet. And then he stands up on his head. He does stand up on his head. Hmm. Now that I'm trying to get him to stand up on his head, he doesn't want to. Ah, oh, there you go. And there's the copper one. And again, oh, it's in the camera. He's come out rather beautiful. Now I think the copper one weighs about 57 grams or something and the silver one is 65 so just a little tiny bit over two ounces so uh, yeah they're pretty cool anybody who's interested in any of these or any of my other pools please don't uh, hesitate in giving me an email I'll try and look after you as best I can with with price and shipping and what have you but uh, yeah that's it for the day I think unfortunately I couldn't get that um, Nordic gold one to come out I'll get the uh, the gas bottles all filled up and have another go and maybe I'll show it to you on the next pour all right guys I'll just give you one more look at these two up close. Pretty cool. All right, guys. Let's look at their backs. They've got the uh, fur and everything. Okay, guys. Catch you on the next one. So that's it from me. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.